Definitely amazing. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Kristen's here, and Phil Phil is sitting right here, and he's being super um, cute because he's afraid of the tripod and light setup that we got here. He, it's very suspicious to him, so he's... Uh, He's, he's making sure he's standing guard to make sure nothing happens. But uh, if I, the reason I keep looking down is because he keeps looking at me and I keep petting him and uh, he's the best. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, thank you for coming back for another video. I really appreciate it. And for everybody who recently subscribed um, within the past uh, two weeks, um, it really means a lot to me to have your support and to see that so many people have subscribed and are watching my videos um it's it's a really big deal for me so thank you i appreciate i appreciate your support and i appreciate you um so as promised this morning on my instagram stories i'm going to be talking about my half marathon training um what i've been doing so far and how that's progressing and then what i i just recently started a new program so i'm going to be talking about that um as well um, before I get into that, for those of you who haven't subscribed and are interested in seeing more content, please subscribe down below. And if you want to be notified about um, upcoming videos or videos that have just been posted, hit the notification bell. You'll get an email sent to your inbox. I'm sure this is, you know, old hat for most everybody here. Um, and if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can find me at Kristen Talks Food. That information will be in the description box below. Um, and if you hear any noise in the background, my husband was just singing a little bit. So uh, he's uh, he's up and about. We're both. <laughs> oh, we're under quarantine right now, as I feel like most people in the world are. Um, at least at least here in the United States. So I hope with everything that's going on there, I hope everybody's doing well, that you're all plugging through and that this is this has at least been a first easy day for everybody as of the day that's being posted. So if you're watching this in the future, this doesn't apply. Um, so now let's talk about running. Uh, for those of you who know, you follow me on Instagram, or Facebook, or anywhere in life that we happen to be friends and know each other, you know that I registered to run the Disney Wine and Dine Half Marathon on November 8th of this year, so 2020. Um, I'm not a complete novice to races. In 2014, I ran the Disney Half Marathon that's part of their marathon week. Um, I did that along with my brother-in-law and we, I mean, it was just something to do, quite frankly. It wasn't something that I was really training all that hard for. It wasn't something that I had set a goal to do, like within a certain time or anything like that. So I was really just more interested in getting it done. Um, I don't remember my time. I didn't, like I said, I didn't train for it. So I wasn't looking to do a corral placement or anything like that. I was one of the last runners to start running, um, and I would say that I ran about 50% of it and walked 50% of it. Um, I remember a story my sister told me, uh, who is a, a veteran runner. She's ran marathons, half marathons. Like, this is just the thing that she does. She's very good at it. And um, <laughs> she told me that at about mile seven, um, I looked a hot mess. And and I remember that mile and I felt a hot mess too. So um I want to avoid that and I also have set a goal for myself to be able to run this half marathon within um, about two something hours. Like I'd like to run it in a little bit less than two and a half hours if I can. Um, I know for some of you are like, oh my God, you're so slow, but I'm not a fast runner. I never have been. Um, and so for me to be able to get 13.1 miles done in about 150 minutes, I'd, I'd quite frankly be kind of impressed with myself. Um, so while I have that goal and and I'm cognizant of that goal, uh, the only way for me to be able to achieve it is to train. So I decided I was gonna run this half marathon, I think back September or October. Um, maybe even earlier than that. I had my sights set on running this marathon 
Um, and so I decided I was going to start training then. And basically what I did was, um, I decided to just download a free, um, silly. Thank you. I decided to just download a free, um, half marathon training program. And I stuck with that for a while. And what that training program had me do was a little bit too hard for my body. So I would be running, you know, two to three miles in the first few weeks on Tuesday. And then I would take a break on Wednesday, run the same thing, two or three miles on, on Thursday, take a break on Friday, run on Saturday and run on Sunday. Or, um, it would be run Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, rest, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday. And then after a certain amount of weeks, you would pick up. So you'd be running uh, two uh, you know, days in a row. Um, I actually don't have a program still or else I would I would have dict you know, read it verbatim from the page, but I threw it away. <laughs> I threw it away um, that just because I did, I was, it was posted on my fridge and I was cleaning off my fridge the other day and I was like, I don't need it. I threw it away. Um, and the reason that I didn't stick with it as closely is, like I said, it was just too hard on my body. I was running too much. Um, and it was really hard for me to, to accommodate the schedule to my work schedule. Um, I work a nine to five. I commute at least 90 minutes one way. And so for me to be able to fit in three miles, four miles, five miles during the week to, to accommodate, stick with this training schedule, it was a little bit too challenging. Um, and I, I wound up being very stressed about it and very anxious because I wasn't, I wasn't fitting my, in, you know, my schedule in. And, uh, I was only being able to do like a little bit at the gym and then my longer runs on the weekend. Thank you. Um, I wound up developing tendonitis in my knee and I had to take a really long break from running. Um, so when I was able to really get back into my training, I was a lot slower and running was a lot more labored. So what I wound up doing was just kind of throwing a training program out the window. And I was like, I just want to get on the road and I just want to be able to run. So what I wound up doing was taking time at the gym. And now to preface this, now it's like the middle of winter here in, in Northern New Jersey. It's January. It's cold. It's a little bit of snow. It's ice. You know, I'm not, I'm not running outside. Um, I'm, I'm running at the gym, uh, for the most part. And so running a couple miles, one to three miles on the treadmill a few times a week. And then if I was able to be able to run outside on the weekend, I would just do a long run. So I was focusing on making sure my knee was, was in good condition. And I was cross training, trying to build up muscle, um, making sure I was eating enough was a big thing for me because I'm, um, I have a tendency to not eat as much during the day for, you know, whatever reason. And that's a different video for a different time. Um, but making, you know, having those, um, established training bits into my routine. Um, and then once I registered for the half marathon registration opened on March 10th at 9 30 in the morning and i was able to do a tier one registration and for those of you who are familiar with disney marathon or disney races in general you know it's a fucking madhouse like it's insane the first the the first like five minutes of registration for tier one everybody's trying to get in everybody wants to register because it's going to sell out and you know it's going to sell out so you just keep refreshing and refreshing and refreshing um, or the web page will keep refreshing. And finally I got in, I registered, I set up everything and I got a spot and I'm really excited about it. Um, and so what I did, was I downloaded the, um, run Disney half marathon experience training program. Uh, it's designed by, uh, us Olympian, Jeff Galloway. It's, it's free. It's a free download. You can get it right off of the Run Disney website and they have different training programs for your experience level or what you consider to be your experience level. Um, I don't consider myself an experienced runner, um, but based upon their beginner training program, it would have been, it wouldn't have been challenging enough for me. So I grabbed this one. Um, and what I really like about it is that, let me show you. So week one, in week two, yeah, for the first six weeks, it looks like they have you doing 
um, 30 minute runs on Tuesday, Thursdays, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then they have you do a long run on Saturdays. And that actually works out really well for me, partly because it's something I've already been doing and it's something I can, I really can accommodate into my schedule. Um, but also because, um, it gives me the breaks in between days so that I'm not running every single day. And that really tires my body out and makes my legs really sore. Um, and so I wind up losing steam really quickly and I, I burn out really fast. Um, so having these breaks in between where I can incorporate cross training, and that's actually recommended in the program that on your non-running days you uh, cross train. So do weights or yoga, Pilates, swimming, whatever, and then at least one day a week it's recommended that you have a rest day. Um, so I've started the program. I really like it. I've already violated one of the rules to not run two days in a row, but I feel today was a little bit of a different day. I'm, you know, it's our first day being in the house. Everybody's a little bit anxious. We kind of just, you know, want to get outside. And so because it was a relatively nice day and it was sunny out, I took the advantage to just on my lunch break, because I'm working from home, uh, to take a run. And it felt really good. I just did a regular 30 minute run. I wasn't trying for speed. I wasn't trying for distance. I just wanted to be out and run for 30 minutes straight. Um, because of the town that I live in, everywhere you go is uphill. Like you, I know that sounds weird. Like it's like, you know, your grandpa telling you, I walked uphill both ways in the snow every day is cool. But it's, it's really, it's true. Everywhere you go in this town, you're running uphill. Um, you might have a small dip to just get you to the next hill. It's, it's the only way you're going to run downhill is if you're running towards the major highway. And quite frankly, I'm not going to take my life into my hands to run down a big hill just to hit a highway and potentially get hit and die. So everywhere you go is either up like a slope or it's just a straight up hill and slight dip to get to a hill. Um, so my running is pretty slow and it's been consistently between about 11 and a half minutes to 12 minutes per mile. Um, I'm not really gaining much speed unless I'm on the treadmill and then I can run a mile to two miles at like a 10 minute per mile pace, but that's with the treadmill being completely flat. So I don't know what that's going to mean for me in the long term. I don't know what that's going to mean for me when I'm running in Florida, if from what I remember, the tracks at Disney are usually pretty flat. Um, there are a couple hills here and there, but for the most part, I think they keep their uh, tracks pretty flat. Um, but I don't know. I'm just going to be sticking with this training program, and hopefully it will serve me really, really well. It is a full... The program is 19 weeks long. Um, with actually, interesting... Lead. week 18 is the week of your race so they have I'll show you they have weeks 15 through 19 on the back and you can see right here week 18 um, or on the last page I should say it's the back of my page um, week 18 that's that last day of week 18 is actually your race day so um, it's it's an eight-week training packet uh, an 18 week training program um, and a 19 week running program. Uh, so, I mean, it's been, it's been an interesting journey for me. Some of the challenges I have found is um, obviously running every day or running multiple days in a row isn't good for me. It's not good for my body. It's not good for my race time. It's not good for my spirit because I wind up running slow that I, I found that I, at the beginning of my training, I, I wasn't eating enough. Um, and that really kept me from progressing the way I wanted to. There was a few weeks of training where I, I literally could not run more than two miles at a time um, because I just, I wasn't eating enough. I wasn't feeding my body enough fuel. And so I've gotten to the point where I've just flat out been eating more, uh, especially on on running days, I'll eat breakfast, which is not something I really like to do. I'm not a breakfast person, but 
I like to put, I, running on an empty stomach is not, like I can't run six miles on an empty stomach. It's, it's just, it's not gonna serve me very well. I'm gonna get tired and frustrated and angry and probably just wind up coming home and crying or being mean in general. And that's, that's not nice. Nobody, nobody wants somebody mean in their house. So, um, <clears throat> um, yeah, and so to combat that, I've just been, sorry, my hair's driving me crazy. So to combat that, I've just been eating more, making sure that I'm eating enough food in the morning before I go for my run, um, making sure that I'm not drinking coffee before my run because I find that if I do that, I, I burn out really fast. I, I don't know why, even if I'm drinking water, it just doesn't help. The only thing I can do before a run a few hours before a run is drink water and have something to eat. Um, something light, <clears throat> but it's still, it's still something. It's still allowing my body to have access to glucose, so, which is what it needs to move. It needs carbs, it needs glucose in order to do long runs. Um, so that has, has helped me improve my stamina but not so much my time. And so that's really something I really wanna be working on over the next few weeks is improving my actual run time by reducing, you know, my, my per mile. Um, I wanna be working on reducing my um, mile per hour time. Uh, so, or my mile per minute time. Um, and so that's, that's the plan. And I will continue to be training. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to continue training pretty consistently over the next few weeks, really taking advantage of the time we're going to be having at home and hopefully the weather will hold and I'll be able to, uh, get myself outside more often than not. Um, and you know, that's it. I'm very excited about doing this race. It's, it's going to be a really fun time, hopefully. Um, and I've, I've been looking forward to doing, I tried, I, I was trying to make it a goal for last year and it just didn't pan out. Um, but I've really, I've been wanting to do this half marathon race, the wine and dine half now for a couple of years. And it's finally worked out that I can do it. I've been able to register successfully and hopefully, okay, Hopefully one of my sisters will be able to do it with me and that's just gonna make it even more fun um, And yeah, so that's that's the update on my training <clears throat> to update on My running and marathonness and all of my training and I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it's something that you find interesting if you do click the like button give me a thumbs up um and subscribe down below. And if you are interested in more content like this, like I said, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the Kristen Talks Food family. And um, sorry, my lips dry. Um, keep an eye out for a new video that should be coming up hopefully this week. I will be posting another recipe video for some of you who have been asking for that. That should be coming. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.